<laughs> so hey friends i'm here in bristol and i'm doing a video on on biodiversity around another video on biology and biodiversity around the world this video is specifically on areas that have species to be described around the world as i as i mentioned before so um usually the places around the world that have the most amount of species to be described and this is mostly based on verte vertebrate zoology so this is mostly um land uh, my my emphasis mostly because on land vertebrates because it's the area that i know the most it are areas that have high biodiversity and and sometimes maybe have um, lack of scientific discovery due to political reasons or sometimes economic reasons. So <clears throat> a country like Brazil, for example, that has an enormous amount of biodiversity, even though it has it has some problems. It has a, like delinquency, it has um, political instability. It has quite a lot of, of um, descriptive work done at the, at, the, um, <clears throat> at the taxonomical level. So you could, you could really argue that Brazil's, Brazil's um, small mammals, which are, so basically a lot of the species to be described right now in the, in the world fall into the category of either salamanders like a, a small amphibians such as like salamanders and frogs especially the um leptodactylid group has a lot that could be done just because the arrangements are not really um understood especially the old genus Eleutherodactylus, which is now craugaster and um a lot of like small snakes have a lot there's a lot of like species to be described and found a lot of salamanders just because they're so hard to find, especially salamanders fall into endemism groups. So basically, um, because there are, there are a lot of highland salamanders that are so hard to find, it's really easy to find a new salamander on every mountaintop many times, like such as the genus Nototriton in Costa Rica, for example. And then there's also uh, birds. There's it's gonna be hard to find a lot of new species of birds, but there's still some stuff to be done. I think a lot of the new species have to do with new taxonomical arrangements, not really with finding new species in the field. Just because um, due to coal and due to um, habits, it's a lot actually a lot higher, a lot easier to find a bird than um, than a than a frog or a salamander because they're much more. Um, unconspicuous much more skittish in their in their habits and then for example we have also the <clears throat> when it comes to mammals and this is a group that i'm not as um well versed as as um, reptiles amphibians and and birds but when it comes to mammals <clears throat> The work to be done, especially at the descriptive level, maybe even natural history, has to do more with bats and with um, small small mammals such as rodents. Like I think it would be really hard. I, I think you hear in the news, like in Papua New Guinea, they found a new species of like medium-sized mammal, or whatever, like a monkey or something, or Africa. But this is um, th this this cases are really hard to find and hard in between. But they, but there's probably quite a lot of work to be done at the 